Yo, what's going on guys? It's Trey back again here bringing another video. This one's going to be doing a review for Vitor Belfa versus uh, Anthony Rumble Johnson. Just a quick one. Um, I didn't catch the rest of the fights in the car because I had to work, but uh, I was able to catch this one just before I started pretty much. And um, it was uh, it was a very exciting fight. Uh, it was awesome to see, you know, how the, the crowd in Brazil was behind Vitor like that. I mean, that was crazy. I haven't heard a crowd that loud, um, you know, watching a UFC event. Um, in, in a long time, I pretty much I think Bra Brazil has the loudest fans in the world. <laughs> no question about it. Um, I don't see why they wouldn't put like, um, you know, I, I think it would be a huge fight if they if they did a rematch between Anderson and Vitor in Brazil. I think that would just be crazy. I mean, get like a soccer stadium or something and just fill it with people because I think that's how many people would want to see that fight in Brazil, the rematch. Um, I think that Vitor Belfort at this point deserves a rematch against Anderson. I don't think he should have to fight, you know, any more times to have to prove that. I think now he deserves it. Um, you know, maybe if Anderson's not ready after Anderson faces the winner of Munoz and uh, Sonnen, the next guy, uh, the loser of that could face Vitor. And then, you know, the winner of that maybe face Anderson after. If Anderson's still fighting and everything, because we don't know what that injured shoulder he's had and everything, what's going to happen with it. But, uh, yeah, that's that's that. Um, you know, so hopefully I, we'll see that for Vitor. Uh, it looks like Rumble's going to be cut uh, from the UFC straight up. Uh, Dana White said pretty much three strikes you're out so far, and he has missed weight three times. So, you know, this was kind of a crazy one because this was like he moved up in weight, and then he still he and and he was like way off, like 12 pounds over. It's just unacceptable, unprofessional, just crazy. You know, now it looked like in Dana White's uh, vlog that what what Rumble said was that his leg was jacked. Basically, he only kind of half said it, and then he kind of stopped. And Dana was like, "Okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, whatever." He didn't want to hear it anyway. He didn't care. But it sounds like he may have injured his leg or something. And I mean, if you're doing a weight cut and you have to cut a lot of weight, like Rumble was probably going to try to cut like maybe like 25 pounds or something. Who knows what he was actually naturally at? If he was 205 or 210 or something, who knows? But um, you know, he was going to have to cut a lot of weight. And if your leg is messed up, you know, and it's been messed up for a while. It's hard to, you know, do the cardio the week before or the weeks leading up to the fight to get you to start getting yourself down. Um, dehydration alone, you know, is going to be hard, especially if it's going to be like if it's like 20, 25 pounds. Dehydration alone and starving yourself, that's going to be really tough for a guy who's like, you know, 200, 210 pounds to hit 185 just from starvation and, um, you know, um, dehydration this is it's going to be really tough to do um, near impossible to do really um, so you know I mean that is Rumble's probably done with the UFC maybe they'll send him to strike force he's probably better suited for strike force anyway I mean you know it, it doesn't look like he's ever going to be a champion it doesn't look like he's ever going to even be close I mean here he was 12 pounds heavier at the weigh-ins than Vitor and you know definitely bigger than him you could visual visual visually see that he was bigger than Vitor, way bigger, and uh, Vitor beat him, uh, and beat him pretty well. I mean, Rumble did put the pace on at the beginning and was landing some good shots. He landed that uh, big right hand that he jumped down into Vitor's gar uh, guard and smashed him with it right in the eye, it messed up Vitor's eye pretty bad. But then, surprising to see, we got to see Vitor throw a rear naked choke submission. We've never seen that before, at least not for a really, really, really long time. Um, Gosh, I can't even remember last time Vitor put a submission on anybody. It's been so long. Um, you know, usually we always see are his hands. Um, Rumble did a good job of isolating the hands using his kicks, and then when it came into close distance, just shooting in on him, basically. But he just tired himself out. As simple as that, he just got tired, and um, that was it for him. Vitor was able to stop him. So, um, great fight. Um, you know, not a great card. An okay card, I guess. Um, decent card. I, I really like to see Vitor face the loser of uh, Munoz uh, Sonnen if Anderson's not ready, or face Anderson right after that. Because I think I think Vitor's that you know that second or third guy. I don't know if Chael would beat Vitor, and I don't know if Mark Munoz would beat Vitor. I think he's right. He's right up there. You know, Chael might be able to do it. Um, I mean, that would be an interesting fight to see how that plays out. Um, maybe Chael could do it, but. Um, Vitor's got to be in the top four, I'd say, with Munoz, Chael, and Anderson. He's got, he's got to be top four, top five. Uh, definitely, he's up there. Uh, Rumble, 
he's going to be done now, I think. Maybe Strike Force. That would be a good call. Send him to Strike Force and see if he can get his stuff in order. And Because 12 pounds overweight, that's that's absolute insanity. Anyway, if you guys saw the fight, I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, please let me know what you thought in the comments. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, later, guys. Peace.